What's up you guys, Zoeb here from OneGlanceTrader.com and welcome to week 6 of me trading the options wheel strategy on Riot Blockchain. And if you're brand new to options trading or the wheel strategy, I strongly encourage that you click the link down below which has the full playlist all the way back to week 1 which walks you through step by step of the wheel strategy in this live documented series of me trading Riot Blockchain. And in this particular video, we're going to go through what's been happening with Riot, what is my passive income or percentage return that I've made to date, and what is the plans you know, going forward for next week. So if we have a quick look at the chart, so where we are, we have been assigned uh, 100 shares of Riot uh, at a cost basis of 33.50. You can currently see that the share price has closed at 29.39. So we, are, we do have an unrealized loss at the moment of these 100 shares but that's fine we kind of know the situation I go through all of that in past videos so what we've been doing to continually make money while holding this losing position is selling covered calls and so we've been selling covered calls at the uh, 35 dollar strike so and we obtained 11 11 cents per share premium so because we've got 100 shares 0.11 times by 100 is $11. So we made $11 uh, this week uh, just for holding this kind of position while it, while it recovers. And for those who've been following the markets will know that on Monday, the whole broader market was down. Everything was down through things that are going through on with China and, you know, Bitcoin fraud and all these kind of different things. In my personal view, that is um, uh, an opportunity to go and uh, sell some more puts on Riot and I'll link uh, in the top right corner of me doing a YouTube short of me trading 10 contracts of Riot uh, at the $28 strike from from memory which you know expires today and is probably going to expire worthless as well so you know that again is the power of um, options trading as well so that's another kind of element but this one is just doing one put a maximum of two puts uh, trading the options wheel strategy. So, so as I said, we have our cost basis at 33.50 and expiring this week today, because I'm shooting this video on the 24th um, of September, um, we sold on Monday a covered call at the $35 strike and obtained $11 premium. So again, if we have a look at from a technical perspective, you guys will know we still have this ascending triangle pattern, which is still holding. You know, as price kept dropping, I kept adjusting. But it looks like here that we've kind of, you know, probably had a turn. And this line now should probably should probably hold now uh, going forward. You could probably put a another horizontal line here from a support basis on here. But didn't want to overcomplicate the charts. And I still do think Riot will, con will nicely continue to go back up and test these highs again at 37 uh, sooner rather, rather than later so you know I, I could I didn't know what to expect with Riot so I could have attained more premium doing covered calls at my cost basis at 33.50 but Riot likes to move it's a high beta stock so I'd rather collect less premium or at least I'm still collecting premium but less premium because if it does do that massive move I want to take account into that um, capital appreciation as well if I did lose my shares at, at $35. So overall, from a technical standpoint, I'm really comfortable with, uh, with, with where it is and hopefully hopefully the price now will start to uh, start rise back up towards our, towards our cost basis. And if we have a look at where we are in terms of the documentation, in terms of the spreadsheet, again, the link would be down below. You can take a copy of this, make it your own for whichever stocks that you, you are currently trading the wheel strategy. So this line over here on week six, we did a covered call at $35, expiring today on the 24th of of uh, September. I placed the trade on a, on a Monday, um, but expiring this week. Obviously, one contract because that's what I have. Um, I got 11 cents premium, which makes it $11, and that's 0.33% return on on the uh, 33.50 uh, where I where I got assigned, and that O means that the um, that this position is currently still open. So overall, since we started, we have collected 
$188 in premium. And if you divide the 188 by the strike price I got assigned at, at $3,350, that is 5.61%, which again is, you know, I think it was about 5.2, 5.3 last week or whatever it was. Um, so I'm still making money as the weeks go by. And like I said, I'm really comfortable holding uh, Riot at uh, 3350 Got, I've got no problem with that. One addition that I've added on here on this right hand side, which wasn't there last week, just gives you a bit more information about uh, my position now that I hold stock in this um, uh, uh, in Riot. So the current share price is twenty nine thirty nine, as we discussed, and that's a formula uh, from Google Finance. Um, I own a hundred shares. What I'll do is actually just color this in, color this in, highlight it. Um, so these are uh, cells that you've got to populate. Um, um, 100 shares. So therefore, I've invested. Um, um, I need to put. Um, and I need to put this 3350 inside here. So highlight that. And therefore, 100 shares at 3350. Sorry, it's really going to annoy me. And we're just going to change it now while I'm here with you guys. Um, so I think the invested, yeah, it's the, probably the most long, long around way of doing that, but I don't know why. Sorry. Okay, cool. Um, our cost basis is 3350. That's the assigned price. So therefore we've invested a total of $3,350. So we have an unrealized PL at the moment of $411. So that's the difference between this uh, my cost basis and uh, and the current price, which is $4.11, uh, and times by 100 times by the number of shares. So yes, I'm holding a losing position at the moment. So that's one thing to bear in mind. We are currently quote unquote in a loss, but that's fine. I'm happy and I'm still making money as the weeks go by. My break even now. This break even is quite interesting because the break even piece is your total investment minus the total premiums received. So that's 188 divided by the number of shares. So that is basically saying that if I sold my shares at 31.62, I would get my 3,350 back, but I would lose my 188 dollars premium. Now. I don't necessarily use the break even price to sell covered calls at because I don't want to lose my shares at my break even price. I will only use my break even price if I know that if the price went down so far and I knew with confidence that price would not get back up to my break even because this premium is mine to keep. I don't want to give this back. I'll, in really rest, I've never given my premium back. I've always kept my premium. So. I just have my break even number there so I just know what my break even price is. But for me, I don't care about that at this point because the price is only 29.39. It's not that far away from my cost basis at the moment. So, at the moment, I know that I can still make money selling at or above my cost basis. As you can see here, you know, at 35.50, um we're still making, you know, $11, right? It's not a lot. Don't get me wrong, but it's still, it's still 0.33%. Generally, I try to look for a minimum of like half a percent. So, but because of Riot, I don't mind holding it to wait for it to go above because Riot, like I said, can always just go skyrocket there uh, from that perspective. So what is the plan today at, at the market? Hopefully, Riot continues to rise um, and starts, you know, creeping closer to that $30 marks because the closer the price gets to my... A strike price of 33.50. The higher the premium is going to be because we're closer to um, uh, your your strike at the money price. Um, so again, I'm probably going to continue to look at doing the uh, 30, uh, uh, the 35 dollar strike, even if it is between eight and 11 cents. I'm still going to take it. Um, I could let this option expire, see what happens on Monday and see if Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, right, it, it goes up further, which therefore will give me some more premium. It depends on what happens to Riot today. So 
I'm just going to watch the market. I'm not going to do it straight away. I'll probably do it towards the end of the day because there's quite a lot of liquidity. I'll get filled pretty quickly on Riot. So I'll either roll this position today on Friday or I will let the option expire, collect the full $11 and then uh, create do a covered call on the, uh, on the Monday. So that's the plan. Um, and again, you know, I hope you guys are getting some value from this video in terms of me going through a live example of the uh, world strategy. And if you want to learn with me, you know, click the link down below. I think it's the first link inside the description where you can join my options coaching group where we've got live streaming, live private Discord chat, and we can go through this in a lot more detail in a more one-to-one, -one, one one-to-many kind of basis on there. So, you know, we're streaming every week. So really hope to guys see you guys there. And if you've got any questions, just, just drop me, uh, drop a comment or drop me an email. So really hope you appreciate this video. The link is for the full playlist is uh, down below and in the cards. Thank you.